Interest rates did not rise at the latest Reserve Bank of Australia meeting. What does that mean for the market? G'day guys, it's Yanni here, Director and Auctioneer at Yanni Mooney Property. Uh, welcome to our live market update, streaming across our Facebook page uh, every Monday night at 6 p.m. Uh, let's get straight into it. What's been happening in our postcode uh, within the last week? Well, there was 14 residential sales in 4551 in the last seven days. Three properties sold over $1 million, 10 properties under a million dollars, and one property selling for an undisclosed price. Uh, there was 34 properties that came onto the market in our postcode uh, in the last seven days. Uh, pretty decent numbers we're now seeing week in, week out for the last couple of months. 30 plus listings, generally speaking, each week. There are more properties coming onto the market. There is no doubt about that. But the absorption rate is still very active, meaning the properties on the market are getting very decent offers and selling. 51% auction clearance rate uh, for our state, for Queensland. Uh, within the last week, over 158 auction results recorded. Uh, over a thousand properties sold um, in Queensland again in the last week. So pretty consistent numbers, thousand sales. We've seen that for, for, uh, for many, many weeks now across our beautiful state. Now, interest rates did not rise on Tuesday. I know a lot of buyers were talking about this on the weekend. What does that mean for the market? Does that mean uh, that it's gonna change? Does that mean that it's better times ahead? Well, not necessarily. Um, what, it did, what I did see on the weekend was there was definitely more confidence in the marketplace. Uh, we actually recorded more inspections and more offers across our Saturday open homes uh, than any other Saturday open home in the last three months. So there was definitely more confidence out there. Uh, we're seeing lot, quite a lot of that at the moment. I think if you read into most economist reports, uh, most of them are agreeing on maybe one or two more interest rate hikes over the next few months, and then potentially leave it at that level uh, for, for many, many months. Maybe 11, 12 months is what I'm hearing. So I don't think that necessarily means they're gonna go down overnight, but uh, we're seeing some agreements on potentially holding, whether that be one, none, or two more interest rate hikes and holding it for a period of time. So I think if you're a buyer at the moment, uh, you can take that with confidence. Hopefully the end is in sight and uh, we, we can definitely see that on Saturday. In uh, For the month of um, uh, July, we are seeing increased inspections out there. This Saturday, uh, we have over eight open homes, over 14 open homes this week. So there's plenty of properties for you to come and have a look at if you're wanting to see our latest listings before they hit the major portals of realestate.com and domain.com. You can head over to our website at yarnymooneyproperty.com.au. Until next Monday night at 6 p.m., have a great week. We'll see you all out in market.